Good morning and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. In today's video, um, I'm going to finish this envelope. I Yesterday I got it folded and I got a little bit of napkin decoupaged on there and heard the bells on Christmas Day, so I thought the bells would be appropriate. I'm thinking I want to do a little bit of gold stamping on this and maybe a little more green because when I glued that down over the green, it kind of hid it. So maybe we'll add a little bit and then I, I want to sew some lace or a ruffle or something here. So we're going to work on that. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome to you as well. Thank you for joining me today. And let's just get some work done. I do apologize. I know I've been trying to release videos every three days and um, we are, I'm just, I'm just a little behind this week. So we still have company and uh, mom's been here and we've been running and having fun and playing and all kinds of fun stuff. So, ooh, I like that. I'm just picking up little ruffles that I have on my table and I really like that with the red bow. I do, I do. So I'm going to cut it there. And then this was just a scrap that I had stitched a ruffle with and um, let's just go like right there. Okay, yeah, so that'll go on there. I like it for just a little something. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I have brown in my sewing machine and I thought I was gonna change it to black, but I think the brown will look nice with the bells. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of stitching around the edges here and I will be right back. Okay, so I've stitched around it and I've just glued that green ruffle on with the bows and I just wanna add a little bit of gold stamping. Just a little bit, just for a little bit of interest on here. Maybe we'll just do some gold dots for some noise around. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. Just a little bit here and there. <clears throat> oh, and I know what I wanted to do. Where's my... Where is my thing? I need my gold jelly roll pen. Or any gold pen will do. It just if you have a, a gold metallic pen or whatever color metallic you have, you could use. Let me grab it. You know I'm being very quiet this morning. I have not been in here really in days. I came in yesterday and did this. This is as far as I've gotten since I did the last filming. Um, was I did this and <laughs> that's all I've gotten done. But like I said, we've been really busy with mom here. Um, Saturday was a busy day and yesterday we just kind of watched TV and hung out, you know. Um, so it was just nice and quiet which was good. She leaves tomorrow, which, you know, we'll see her soon. And um, so that'll be good. Never soon enough. But like I said, I'm very blessed with my mother-in-law. I love her. So I'm very glad that she has come and visited. Okay, so that's just adding a little bit of gold to the bells. And again, this is just the same um, jelly roll pen that I used last time. Okay. Um, let's add a little bit of that to these flowers. That would be pretty. And I'm trying really hard not to get my, <laughs> my glacier paste out on that, but I'm thinking I want to. And I'm thinking we need just a little script stamp on here as well, which I did not grab. Okay, so I've got my, my trusty little script stamp, and I never really know which way this goes. I think it goes like this. And I just want to add just a little, just a little. We're just adding layers for interest, not too overpowering. And uh, don't care about perfect stamping. We just want a little bit for some noise on here. Some splatters would have been nice too, but I don't want to splatter now that I've gotten this far with it. Okay, perfect. And you know, I didn't do anything on the back, but that's okay because I may just put this on a page. I may, let's measure it. Um, I don't think we'll be able to. It's a little too wide, I think, to actually go on a page, so it'll have to go in a pocket. 
but I like it. I think it's pretty. And maybe we'll put a dangle on here or something. Maybe. I guess we could stamp on it. Oh, I left my gold ink open. Oops. Let's just do this. Let's just add a little bit. You guys know I said, you know, when I'm doing kind of mixed media, I don't care about perfect stamping. So I really don't use the block. I just kind of press it in my ink and blot it on my paper. And I'm just kind of making a background. It doesn't have to be perfect impressions. I mean, that's up to you. That's your taste. I don't necessarily need a perfect impression on here. I'm just going for... Um, just a little bit of added interest with the script stamp. Just, you know, adding some added dimension. I didn't even stamp that straight, but that's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so there is that. And then, I don't know, do I want something added on the back of this? I may. I don't know if I do or not. So I can come back to that, but for now that's good. I'm gonna let that dry. Black splatter would be pretty on it. Um, do we want to do... I could do this and just make it... No, I was looking at the design of the stamp, but I don't think... I think that's going to be too much. Because see how the impression is? I don't think I'm going to be happy with that. So we're just going to not do that. Okay. So we're gonna call this piece done for right now. We may put a label or a little collage or something on here, um, but it may end up still going on a page. Where did I put the journal? There it is. So, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that would hang over. We don't want that. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. It's a little too wide, so we don't want that. So it'll go in a pocket somewhere. So we just have to find a place for it. We don't really have any pockets built, you know, to stick it in. So maybe we'll move this and it could go in there. That would tuck in there nicely. But no, I'm still not sure about this fabric flip. Still just not sure. We'll see. Okay, but anyway, that's a piece that we have made. So let's move along here. I'll just set these aside and we know we have a little pile of things. And then, oh, I know what I wanted to work on. Where did I put it? Not that one. I don't want to work on that one just yet. Where's our cute little dancing Santas? There we go. I put them on the red page, but I do kind of like them on that music page, wherever that went. Was that on the back? That's why I moved it. I really didn't have a plan. I just said, you know, I'm just going to come in here and mess around. Yeah, up on the housetop. I think I really want them on there. I just think that's funny. Because the, the Santas are dancing, you know? So I think I'll cut that down a little bit. <clears throat> Not too much. I think maybe an eighth of an inch will do the trick. So let me get it cut down. I do really like them on up on the housetop. I just think that's so much fun. I do feel like we need some something added to the background here, but I really want them to be the focal point. So I'm trying to think what I want to do. I really I have not brought any of my um, Christmas stamps down. But then I'm thinking maybe I don't need to because whatever we put in this pocket is going to be there. Um, so maybe I'll just glue it down. I do have this flap, but I don't think I need it. And I don't think I'm going, I'm going to flip, I, I am going to flip this to this side for right now because I, I don't want that pocket on this side. We're gonna glue this down on the three sides here. And I'm trying to think in my trims. Oh, I know I have some pretty red lace. Maybe we'll just put some pretty red lace along the bottom of that. I don't want to cover their cute little feet. And um, I was thinking about putting some sparkle on the Santa's beards, but I'm not sure if I want to do that either. But that will come as we work on this. I mean, we've got, you know, I've got time. I've got room. 
and we can make those decisions. Now, I purposely left this not so into the spine because I don't want that bulk. You know, we, we don't want our spine to um, have too much in it, you know, as far as moving our pages around like this. So just keep that in mind when you're making your pockets. I like to kind of leave a little bit around the edges. That's, you know, that's a personal preference. You do what, what you want to do. And then, let's see. I know, you know, I think my red is not going to match this because they're more orangey red. Hopefully you can see that. They're kind of a more orangey red, but aren't they so cute? I just love them. But I know I've got some black trim too that could be pretty on here. So let me look really quickly. And I just feel like I want just something kind of thin right here along the bottom of this. I played with a couple bits and they were just too big and gonna impede this 150 and I didn't want to hide that. So I found this kind of blingy, sparkly, kind of a rickrack trim and it's wanting to curl up on me. So I think what I'm gonna do is just run a bead of my three in one right here. Not too much because we don't want the glue totally seeping out of there. My 3-in-1 was getting too thick, so I did take just a little bit of acetone and thin it. You don't want to do a lot. It's better to be um, a little and add more if you need it versus putting too much in and then your 3-in-1 is like really, really runny. I haven't been in here for a couple days, so I apologize. There's a, a goober in my glue tip. Here we go. Now I have glue all over my finger. It's all right. So I'm just doing like a thin, you know, little bit there. So that's gonna hold our our um, trim down. Oh, I made a mess with that, goodness. Make sure you put your trim on the right way because if you don't, then you're gonna have glue all over it and it's gonna be a mess and you don't want that. Now I'm not really going over the bottom here. I don't want it hanging over the bottom which normally I don't mind that, but I really need this to be able to just sit, you know, on a shelf or whatever. So let's just trim that. See, it's like all curly. It's hard to <laughs> keep it flat. Okay, so just wanna make sure that's stuck down well. And it's not too bulky. I don't want super bulky. Again, because we're, we are limited to our one inch spine, you know, on both sides. And if you've been watching me at all, you know I tend to make fat journals, so. You are just a mess, goodness. Okay. It kept oozing out of the top, which it shouldn't be doing. Okay, oh, they're so cute. I do just love them. So, you know, I could have put like a little piece of that with it, but that's okay. No problemo. So then we'll need a piece to go in that pocket. And the other, the top of that now, I don't think I want both pieces in this back signature. Where do I have that clipped in? Did I take it out? Oh my goodness, there it is. So let's, oh I know I put that on that blue because I thought it really popped off that page. And I don't have that blue up front have the red and the green and I don't think on the red it's going to have the same impact as against the blue but let's look and see let us look I think it looks okay on the red but I really liked it on the blue you know what I'm just gonna have them both in this back signature I was trying to split them up but I just really like it on the blue. I like the contrast and colors, so that's where it's gonna stay. Mm -hmm. That just makes me happy, just for a nice bright page. Okay, so I'll leave that there. Okay, where was my, let's work on this page. Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Now, I was flipping through my bag of Christmas napkins yesterday. I have this Santa here, and I think he would be really neat on that page. So, oh, I can't get hold of that this morning. There we go. What if we just have him on that page? 
I think that could be really pretty. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Now, width-wise, I do want some of that tree. Okay, so let's get our little... This is a water... I don't know what this came with, to be honest, but it's got a little nib on it. And when you press down, you know, it's like a paint marker, but with water. And that will come out. So what I'm going to do is move my book aside for a second. And I'm going to come, just going to take this panel out here. Okay. And then height wise, I wanted to come up into this panel. I'm not going to get into the image on that, on that napkin panel, but I needed it a little bit taller here. So let's bring that across. Let's see, by getting it wet, it just tears right in that line really nicely. Okay. And that edge is going to kind of just blend out now when we glue this. Okay. Set that aside. I'm not worried about that crease because when we glue it, that's going to come out. It's going to come out. And then... Mm, let's see. So I will come down but about that green line, I think. Get that out there. Okay, and again, it's wet. I mean, you can see there's water. Hopefully you can see that. You may not be able to. But I'm just going to kind of come down that green line here. Okay, and same. Um, I'm just going to take that rough, that straight edge off there. And I think I'm going to have this down below that pocket. I'm going to stabilize that pocket. Oops, stabilize that pocket. I am going to leave that as a pocket on this side. And we will do, because this will just decorate that music paper. That's okay. I got it too far up there, but it's okay. It'll be fine. So see, by getting it wet, it just kind of comes off there, you know? And once your napkins do get wet, they're super fragile. So do be careful. And uh, don't do like I just did and rip a big chunk out of where you want it. You can also use just a small paintbrush. Um, you can use scissors and cut, but it just doesn't give you that softer edge once it's glued down. Um, but, you know, use what you have for sure. So let's see. See, how do I want to do this? Because I definitely don't want to get glue where I don't want it. Um, so he's going to fit on there really nicely. Jolly old St. Nicholas will show through with the way I'm going to do this. That pocket's going to come up. So let's bring this. You know, I probably could have just done the one panel and would have been fine. Unless I just take this pocket off altogether and just have him like that. Maybe I'll do that. Mm -hmm. I think I will. I think I will. Just not have that pocket. Hmm. Maybe I'll bring him up more. I should have just stayed within this one. Because I think I do want this to be a pocket. So I'm going to come back with my water pen and just take some of that off. Just right below that line. It's not going to hurt the other panel. Um, I'll just use that in a different way. Or, or, maybe that will be the panel I use. Let's try that. Let me get this. Come right down through here. And this is part of the creative process, and it's okay to change your mind. You know, it's it's not set in stone until you glue it down, and even then you can always paint over it or collage over it. You have so many options, so it's okay to change your mind. Don't think that, oh my gosh, I did it, now I'm married to it forever. I'm not saying that you can change your mind with marriage. You shouldn't. Um, but that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> You should be quite sure before you get married. But anyway. All right. So, 
Let's see, I've got him wet. I had water on my on my my mat, so I have to be careful now. Oh, I like that better anyway. Well, it's the same image. I don't know what I'm talking about. But he's gonna fit in there a lot better now. Okay. And really, I could take that that side off and just have that tree. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take this side off, just so that tree is what we see on that edge, okay, for the most part. It'll still have a little bit of that, but I don't want to come back and just try to pull that little bit off. Okay. I know, stop saying okay, right? I don't know what we're going to do today. It's raining, which we need really, really bad. And, um... We were going to go to the movies, but we decided since it's the last day that mom's here, we're not going to do that. And we're just trying to get our little duckies in a row this morning and figure out what we're going to do. And we don't know. So she was cute. She was like, do you need to go do something? I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> she says, well, you go do it. I'll read while you do whatever. So I'm just doing this and I'm going to make this my last page. Um, so the video won't be super long. And um, hopefully I can get it uploaded and posted today. Again, I do apologize. I know I should have had this out this morning for you, and I didn't. Um, but I, I do have to say that Mom takes priority, so I hope that you'll understand and give me grace there. Um, oh, I like that. That's going to be really pretty. And also, on this flap here, I need to stabilize that. So we'll do that when we have the glue out. And I just have this piece of player piano roll that I had backed that envelope with. And so I'll use that to stabilize this. So let me get my Mod Podge that is watered down. Um, I need to use it up anyway, so this is good. Okay. Ooh. Hey, stop that. My tray is blowing in the breeze from my ceiling fan and not being cooperative. So I'm just dipping this in here. I would put it in the tray, but I don't think I need to. I do want to be very careful and not get the glue um, on this page so I can't be messy. <laughs> no being messy today. And I just want to make sure I'm getting a good base coat down. Now, if I get out further than this page, because this is water-based, I can clean it up with my um, wet wipe. But I'm really trying to not. It is matte, and it is watered down a little bit. I think I said that already. I think I watered this down. Am I telling a fib? You can water it down for your decoupage. So I might be fibbing to you about this one. I can't remember and I don't have watered down written on it which I typically do when I water it down so that I know it's not full strength. Oh goodness, that would have been bad. I have the ceiling fan on. It's really humid today. And Oh, I need the, um, the breeze. Okay. I need to clean up. Okay, so I want, uh oh. Be really careful when you stick that down because really once it's down it's it's down your napkin becomes really fragile all right so just scooting that gently out like that and then I don't have enough glue up here I went too far down not high enough up and you know what I want to do I want to protect there so that I quit doing dumb things not dumb things I'm just really distracted. You guys know that right now. I'm just all over the place. And um, so let's just get that down. I want to get along this edge here without getting it on this other page. Okay. All right. So, well, that's not going to hurt anything. You're not going to see that because it's going to be in that pocket. So it'll be fine. Now you could, well, if I hadn't gotten glue all over the top, you could stop there if you wanted it to be more 
um, I hope opaque is the right word, where you don't see through it, but I really want it to become part of this paper. So I'm gonna do the layer of glue on the top, and when that dries, it'll look more like the envelope did. And um, I just thought, you know, I've got some really nice napkins that I have not been using because I'm hoarding them. And why not use it, right? Use the things we love because that's what brings us the joy. If we only use the things we don't love so much, then, you know, I think it inhibits our joy in the creative process. But what do I know? Okay. So... So I know I have to work on my design team project, and so that will be coming up. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to get that posted like August 1st, or, or, you know, I think that it might be, I don't know, just a couple of episodes, not, not a whole lot, because I think I know what I'm going to do, and it's not going to be super complicated, and then I know I need to do um, the the journal cover using the packaging and I think I know what I'm going to do with that. I just haven't gotten that filmed but I do have a bubble mailer here. So let me get this glued and I will show you what I plan to use. So if you've got one in your stash you can kind of set it aside. Um, or if you did any Prime Day shopping you might have one that just came with you know one of your purchases. Okay, now this looks really white right now, but that's okay because this is going to dry. I'm not worried about it. My page is kind of buckly. I'm not worried about that either. I do just want to make sure I don't have glue on my, um, on this page. And I don't think I did. I didn't feel any kind of a drag or pull there. Okay, so that's going to dry. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this edge which I think I'm out of screen. Let me, let me, I've got to clean up some of my scraps. I thought I might collage with some of the scraps. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. Not a whole lot. And again, I'm not too worried about it being down too low on this because you're not going to see it. And um, I'm just going to stabilize that edge by getting glue everywhere. <laughs> getting glue everywhere. And that's just going to make that stronger to be a pocket because it is vintage uh, music paper and, um, you know, it's kind of flimsy and we don't want that. So let's just put this right along that edge. Okay. So that's just going to add some strength. And then once it dries, I'll get it trimmed up and it'll be fine. Um, I can see that that's not holding. Oh, it is. Maybe it's just, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. And then, um, so when we come back in the next episode, we'll be able to decorate this pocket. Okay, get that glued down. But I don't want anything touching this right now because it'll get stuck in our wet glue on our napkin and we definitely don't want that. Um, if you have Mod Podge I, or any of your glues, like you're refilling bottles like this, oops, like this, um, just take a little bit of parchment paper or wax paper under your lid and it'll help keep your lid from sticking to your bottle and being difficult to get off when you're ready to fill back up or refill. Okay, and then let's see. So for the journal cover... It's just a bubble mailer that I'm going to use, and I'm going to pick out some fabric, I think. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Um, so find a bubble mailer, or it could be, you know, the brown paper packaging envelope. It can be a manila, a manila envelope. It could be whatever you have in your stash. It does not have to be a bubble mailer. I'm just doing that for the added texture. So see what you've got and kind of get ready for that. Set that aside so you have it. Um... Hopefully this video wasn't too boring for you today. I do apologize. There's some of this I was going to do off film, but because I haven't been able to get in here, you're seeing it on film. Um, so that'll be, I like it. And you know, maybe we'll put the Jingle Bells envelope in this pocket. I don't know. We'll see. 
Okay, so you guys have a wonderful day. I hope that if you do have napkins, you get them out and play with them. When this dries, it's going to be really cool, and um, I'm really excited about it. And I will see you guys in the next video again if you're new here. Thank you for joining me. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your continued support. I really, really appreciate it. You know I do. I'm loving the comments and the feedback, so thank you so much for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I thought of something when I was walking away letting this dry. You can heat tool this, but I will tell you that Mod Podge can bubble. And um, I, I don't want you to... Um, take your heat tool and have your napkin bubble because the glue underneath will bubble. If you do any mixed media and you play with that and you use Mod Podge like in your collage and you're heating it to dry, um, you'll see that it can, in essence, boil the glue. So um, I would encourage you to maybe use your Mod Podge on something that doesn't matter and use your heat tool on it so that you can see what I'm talking about and know how it will behave on something like this that would matter and you don't want that to bubble. Um, sometimes in my mixed media, I don't care about those bubbles. I think it, I can add added texture, um, but on this, I don't want that. So be mindful and uh, just be careful if you decide you don't wanna wait on it to dry. Like, I'm having a hard time with this because now I cannot touch this journal until this page dries. Um, but I did want to say that in case you, you know, you're like, oh, well, I want to get done with it and take your heat tool to it. And then it bubbles and you're like, uh, I didn't know that would happen. It will happen. Um, so know that. And again, just take a piece of paper or something, collage on it, use your heat tool on it so you know what will happen. So that's your tip for today. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.